Hello! Today I'm going to show you a very interesting property in the area of Pietra Lunga, which is um, between Città di Castello, north, uh, northern Umbria, and um, the Marche, Le Marche. And this property is a huge, uh, old, original, stone-built property. Um, which can be used, which is actually used at the moment, as uh, a touristic accommodation for all kinds of purposes. Here we enter first the uh, first floor where we have a, a room here where people can gather together when they can't sit outside when it's uh, too hot or too cold. This is like a common area. Here is the common bathroom. You can see. Okay. And here, then there is the stairs going up to the private part of the, the apartments of uh, the owners, which I'll show you later. And here we enter the living room, which is very cozy, with uh, a fireplace which heats, heats this uh, floor. The apartments, the, the guest rooms have uh, their own heating downstairs, I'll show you later. But this floor has uh, wood heating. This is a very cozy kitchen, as you can see, with beautiful spaces to cook. And uh, they cook a lot. They love cooking, all, all of the family. Wood and uh, gas cooking. Here is uh, some storage area for the breads that are being made, um, all kinds of, uh, there is an a old uh, wood oven and more storage here, okay, fridge and everything you need for, uh, for cooking for yourself or for the, your guests if you want. And here you can go up to another storage area. Okay, and there's also a small bathroom, if I remember well. Okay, so from here, we'll go into the central courtyard between the buildings. This is a beautiful space, perfect to sit down and in the shade or in the sun when the sun's shining. And now they're going to put uh, the plants here and cover it uh, with plastic for to protect them for winter. This is the views that you have. We are in a completely immaculate uh, nature in the woods, in, uh, in the hills of uh, Pietra Lunga, as you can see. It's very quiet, so it's a perfect area for relaxing, retreats, yoga, uh, all kinds of... Uh, workshops you want to do with uh, groups of people and this building here is uh, the, the old church which I'm going to show you now it also has an entrance from here okay from outside and this look at these thick walls how thick they are and this really this little church is really fantastic um, it's perfect for meditation, for yoga lessons, for all kinds of uh, workshops and, you know, relaxing things. And, uh, so if you want to do something like that, this is the place to buy. <laughs> okay. Here we go out into the garden. They have a small, very small uh, little pool over there, which is more like for bathing and sitting inside, not really to, uh, to swim. This is the little church. Isn't that lovely? And that's the main building where we were before. And that's where you come from. The land has about uh, seven hectares and they rent more land from the church nearby and um, that way they can uh, work as an agriturismo. 
This is a lovely, nice open space outside. And here in, on this side, we start with uh, the several guest rooms. Okay, here is one. Gelatino, kitty. <laughs> Here is uh, a bathroom, and up here, up the stairs on the mezzanina, there is uh, a bedroom. Okay, so it's very uh, all old buildings, old thick stone walls, the typical style of uh, Pietra Lunga. Hi, hi, kitty. <laughs> okay, now. Here we enter room number two, which is uh, the same as the other one. Again, with uh, a mezzanina upstairs, and each room has its own bathroom. So you go up and have another bedroom there, okay? Here is uh, a small room on with its own staircase. Here we go. A bedroom with two beds and a bathroom. Shower. Okay. And look at the views. Isn't that gorgeous? They also have three yurts over there, which I'll show you now before we go to the other apartments in the building. November, but it's still very uh, beautiful. The sun is shining today and uh, the weather is good. So, uh, in summer, they rent out three yurts in this area. The yurts don't have the heating system, so that's why they only rent them out in summer. Here, I'll go and show you. A few of them. Here is one, there is two more, and here is here are the bathrooms with the showers for the yurts. Okay, shower and another shower. Right here, I'll show you one, and then the others are the same. Very quiet area, very nice to stay here. There is electricity in the yurts and here. See? That's how they are made. And in winter they will uh, pack them in and uh, <clears throat> wrap them and cover them against, uh, um, you know, bad weather and snow. Maybe it can snow here sometimes. Okay. So, let me see if I can go up on this side, yes I can. Um, they also have uh, another shed somewhere down here with chickens. They have uh, two donkeys, very cute. And uh, so it's, it's like a farm family. They used to live here with uh, the, the family, three children and run the place. And it's uh, very um, much uh, requested at the moment for um, uh, the rentals and uh, retreats and all kinds of things that you can do together. Okay, so here we pass on to the lower part of the building where the other apartments are. Okay. See, here is uh, one first apartment with a shower, a nice room. A nice little sitting area outside here. And each, you can also sit here. Here is another small apartment 
in total there are nine rooms there is another uh, bathroom over there nine rooms plus the apartment of the owners and they can host in summertime 28 people who can sleep here in the yurts if you wanted you could put heating in the yurts maybe or change them and change them into uh, glamping tents or whatever and uh, you can improve a lot of course this is a, another big room see with uh, three beds here okay now here we are back again at the start of our tour and we go back into the main entrance again oh, i'll just show you the pool which i didn't show you before it's covered now and it's very little it's in in the shape of a pear and you can sit here and uh, the water is very fresh they have two wells here the building is about 700 square meters large which is huge okay so here we enter where we were before but now we go up to the second floor the top floor where the family used to live and they still do actually they have a lot of rooms here bedrooms this is a big bedroom and there is a sh shower here okay they arranged this whole floor so they could live there with uh, three children. This is bedroom two. And here they made, uh, they turned some, some um, smaller, oh, let me see this room, I can't get in, some, some big rooms into bedrooms. Here is um, the stove, which they heat this floor with, as I told you before. Here is uh, another bedroom with a study, and there is a balcony, which is beautiful. Here you can see the whole property again. The fields out there. These are the fields that they rent out down there. And it's like on, I don't know if you say that in English, a promontory. It's like a, like a ship on, on a high hill, this property. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It probably is very old church monastery in, built probably in 1100. That was the time when most of these old buildings were built. Okay, here we go back again into the private floor. So first we were there. And there is a storage room here. There's a lot of storage here, as you can see. There is uh, another small bedroom here. There's a mezzanine on top, and another one here with uh, stairs going up. So, as you can see, there is, uh, you know, you can change this, of course, and put uh, bigger rooms in if you don't need all the children's rooms. And here we are in the part where the bathroom is, you see? Shower room again. Okay. Well, um, I think we've seen it all. Here you can go down again. Let's see if we can go down without... It's a bit dark. Okay, all right. And here we are in the kitchen again. See? Beautiful, cozy kitchen and a nice sitting room for the family. So, uh, yeah, well, that's about it. If you uh, want more information, Go to our website uh, www.lecasadidori.com. Bye bye.